Hi guys, we're still at trail, trail guide to the body and I'm presenting um, how to uh, locate the splenus capitis. Okay, we're still at page, we are proceeding to page 204, my apologies. So when do you use your spleen, um, your spleen eye, your spleen A, when you're rotating your head and your neck before changing lanes in traffic, applying eardrops, holding your head in lateral flexion. Crouch over in a huddle during a football game, or you're doing extension of the neck. Okay, so um, if you can see here, the therapist um, is having um, his client in prone position, or her, and she's in the uh, the table where she's trying to access um, the spleen, the spleen scapitis. Okay, and you see here the trapezius. As you can see here, the levator scapula. Okay, so have your client in prone. You're going to locate the upper fibers of the trapezius. You're going to isolate the lateral edge of the trapezius by having your partner extend his head slightly. You're going to ask your partner to relax, and you're going to palpate just lateral to the trapezius for the spinous capitis oblique fibers, following them up to the mastered process and inferiorly to the to the through the trapezius, my apologies. And you're gonna ask yourself these questions so that you can confirm do the fibers you feel lead toward the mastoid process. Distinguish the trapezius fibers from the spinous capitis fibers by asking your partner to rotate his head slightly toward the side you are palpating. Do you feel this oblique fibers contract while the trapezius remains passive? You're going to locate the mastoid process and slide medially and inferiorly onto the superficial capitis fibers. Okay, so we all know that medially is going towards the middle uh, midline of the body and, and lateral is going lateral or away towards the body. Okay, uh, in reference is the anatomical uh, positioning of the human anatomy, okay, the human body. So looking at the image here, partner is in a supine position as you can see with head rotates 45 degree to the right away from the side you are palpating okay so for the um that's for the both uh spleen eye muscles right so partner is supine with the head rotated again 45 degrees away from the side you are palpating cradle the head with one hand while the other hand locates the laminar group of the upper cervical and thoracic vertebrae you're going to passively extend the neck slightly to shorten the tissue and palpate through the overlying trapezius fibers. These values will not be particularly distinct. However, the density of both splenoid can be felt in the laminar group. See you guys in the next video.